All right, I'm down for Hall of Nine. Yeah, there's someone who thinks birds aren't real. Uh, two people in House Light Shield. Interesting. I'm down for some House Light Shield. Nope. Okay, by the way, I want you to look at this. This is seven master players who willingly picked Hall of the Nine over Ecliptic Vaults. So, I'm just saying, even master players like fun. So when your challenger players whine about this portal, just realize players love this. How firm is the rule for legends not being units in the set? Not that firm. Not that firm. Challengers laugh at masters? To be fair, challengers laugh at other challengers. I'm pretty sure I've watched a challenger call a rank one player bad. So... Boom. Boom. Ding, ding. Gamers being toxic to each other? What? Never? Yeah. Yeah, because poor Solus was getting dumped on on day three in the Shirima Cup, despite having been good for numerous years. There's a Noxus start in here. I'm not a big fan of playing Noxus, but... Let's avoid the, uh, the Jinx. I've been a little cursed by Jinxes lately. Alright, Rylai, you ready? A lot of AP items. Ugh. Alright. Rylai 23, Consistency, Transfusion, Silver Spoon. Pick quick. Reroll three. Sorcerer Heart. Three. Good choice. Uh Something like that Oh, they have the red buff. They might win this. Swain one's good early with Noxus. Because Swain will... Oh, we'll still win, though. We'll still win. Whew. Whew. Okay. Everyone having Eternal Winter is scary. Yeah, but at least if we're doing that, we're playing Sork, which, like, isn't the worst. But yeah, I'll look around and see what everyone's Orn items are. There's no stronger board. Alright, let's see here. Sniper's Nest with uh, Young, Wild, and Free. Randuins. Zanyas. That's not great. Eternal Winter, that's who we just faced. Deathfire Grass. Randuins. And Snipers. Okay. Any blitz grabs? Nope. I think I'm actually supposed to play this over this, but it's fine. Did you play Six Orcs Velkaz reroll since the patch? Yeah, it's really good. I think I lose this fight, sadly. Especially with them targeting Katarina first. It's gonna be close, but Yeah, I think the next uh the next auction alt ends it and I die. Gonna be really close. Swain, you got me? Are you a god? Ionix 
Yes. Oh, thank God. Whew. Oh, if I had had an upgrade here. There's a lot of Noxus pieces. Is it worth leveling here? Do I... Yeah, probably. Probably worth leveling. Yeah. Okay. Especially to get another Noxus stack. I'll take another Noxus stack. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, Mort. I've been trying to ask you this question since the beginning of the set, but you only reply to first time chatter, so I have to wait till I have 5k points. Why can't we see other players' legends when picking the portal? It's valuable info knowing the lobby, which portal benefit the most. Yeah, so I agree. Uh, the real answer is because we couldn't build it into the UI. You'll notice we only show the legends when you're scouting, and currently you can't scout on the opening portal, so we can't just slap them all there. That was a ton of extra work. I agree it would be nice to know. I personally wish it had been in the loading screen, but we also couldn't get it in there. Uh, if legends become permanent, big if, but if legends became permanent, I would expect and want us to get all that stuff in. Damn, I needed that sword. Bow or cloak? I think it's just three cost cloak. Uh, actually, whatever, three cost cloak. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think this is better just because it's magic damage. I don't want to build the chalice. If I lose, sell the cled. If I win, don't need to do anything. I'm not building Q-Cone. Would have been nice to hit anything two-star at this point, but... Soraka over Mal's? Uh... That's going to be a no for me, dog. Hmm, I actually expect us to lose this fight. Swain would have to do a lot of heavy lifting. Because that Viego is going to stack up and I don't have the damage to take care of it. If Katarina can kill the Viego, I maybe have a shot. Okay, maybe I have a shot. Nice. Katarina MVP. Thank you, Katarina. Katarina saved me! Woohoo! Spark is doing so much damage. Yeah, I really love early game Spark. Especially in a Sork comp. Early game Spark's great. Again, no upgrades. Ugh. <laughs> If I lose, sell Samira, because pair, pair, pair of important stuff. If I win, sweet. But zero upgrades makes this hard. Young Wild Free, they were strong earlier. It's Cassiopeia, but it also, against the Swain, I might be okay. Oh, never mind, it's melting really fast. It's gonna be close. Tarek, you got me? Nope. Oh. Katarina. Oh, she didn't cast! Damn it. Ah, man. Uh, show hell. Appreciate the nine months. Three to go? Yeah. Man. Look at me with my upgraded unit. I wanted an upgraded unit. Thanks. No, just, just, just thanks. Big help. Uh, hey Mort, is there any chance you would share some fun champion abilities concepts that you and the team were excited to implement, but it just wasn't realistic or something prevented you from being into TFT? 
Uh, I mean, I'll tell you the same uh, two I always tell, which is in set five with Draconic, we really wanted the uh, the uh, Dragon Eggs to have a, like a 0.1% chance to hatch. Uh, what was it? To hatch the Dragon Aurelian Soul. Oh Jesus. Uh, Bastion, Rogue, Rogue, Rogue's fine. Yeah, the set three Asol. So that way it'd be a dragon that came out, because it'd be a, a mechanical dragon which didn't fit at all, which was hilarious. Um, yeah, I do think this is better. Um, and then the other one is that, uh, Meddler, all the way back in set three, when we were implementing Bard, uh, he wanted Bard to be a five cost that would open a portal and pull out units from older sets. So, there's your answer. Uh, I can win this. I can win this. Nice. Uh, next week, can you please stream Friday to Saturday? I cannot, unfortunately, because uh, I'm casting, actually. Technically, I could stream Friday, but it'd be a short stream. Bronze ticket, unburdened. Unburdened's not the worst here. Recombobulator? Nope. Oh, it's not my pick. Okay, not my pick. Thank you. Reroll all. The person said reroll all. There you go. You're right. Not my augment pick. Thank you. You're right. Riley. All right. On a roll, late game specialist, recombobulator. You're right. It all worked out. <laughs> uh, please don't pick recombobulator. Please don't pick recombobulator. Hurry, Riley. One. Okay. Uh, we'll just chill here. I should have leveled, but I didn't. You skipped Ori. I mean, look, this is what happens when we do pick all three augments, right? I can't focus while waiting 40 seconds for the decision to come through, so... It's the negative of doing it this way. Like, I should have leveled there. Alright, well, I can't roll anymore. I need the Swain 2 really bad. Is it ever switch Cass for Darius and Sh uh... No. Is Vel 1 greater than Mal's 2? No. Mal's has that shield shred, which is really good. I still have uh, four stacks of Noxus. I wonder if we are playing Velkaz reroll from here, though. It might be Velkaz reroll, because we have the Teemo already. And we have the honor roll. The only thing is my Econ's a little in the dumpster, but... Hmm... Hilariously, Jarvan would already be four strategists. Uh, best third item would be something like Hodge or Guardbreaker. Uh, 
Because it might be time to give up Noxus soonish. Is Swain 3 worth it? Not really, but it doesn't cost me anything to hold this, so. Hmm. Uh, hey, Mort, when are we getting Pepsi sponsorship in game? I think Tarek with a Pepsi t shirt would be dope. I mean, I don't know about in game, but if Pepsi ever wants to sponsor me, I'm down. Like I said, that's the one sponsorship I'll, uh, I'll ask Riot to let me do. Put Velkaz in for Tarek? And then what would my frontline be? I'm really, really poor. Uh, Pry224, cheers. All right, it would be Mal's, Swain, Timo, Velkaz, Tarek. Who am I missing? What would be my other Sorks? Who are the other Sorks? Why can I not think of them? Oriana? Oh God. Is it just four Sork, four spell, four multicast? It could just be four Sork, four multicast. Or it could just be four Sork, three strategists. Cause soon I gotta take out Noxus. I, at some point I gotta take out Noxus soon. Wendy's and Pepsi send you sponsorship offers at the same time. You can only pick one. They're of equivalent value. What do you pick? Oh, Pepsi, easy. See, like now is where I should probably give up the Cassiopeia. Nice. Ginsu Azir? I don't think so. I think it might just... Actually, maybe it is Ginsu's Azir. It's either Ginsu's Azir or Gunblade Azir. Ginsu's Azir or Gunblade Azir. Not my augment pick. Yep, thank you. All right, Riley, what are we doing here? Cybernetic Bulk, Perfected Repetition, Combat Caster. Reroll three, Pandora's items. Two. Okay. That's actually a little tricky. No, it's not. What am I talking about? That's just this. This is the comp. Why, why would I say that's tricky? It's not tricky at all. The only thing is, it feels like I'm wasting... Yeah, whatever. I'm slamming this for now.
J4 instead of Azir, yes. But I need to find a J4. Because now we're just rolling every turn. I want this to be a Guard Breaker or a Hodge on this. I want this to be a Guard Breaker or a Hodge. I think this is one of those cases where what I'm supposed to do is put all this stuff in, like, the front line. Just for its extra shielding value. It's like 350 extra health. Swain needs armor and MR. Yeah, that's also true. I mean, at least we have a little armor from this, but yes, that is still true. I lost that. Why not Gunblade on Velkaz? Because I need Velkaz to just melt everything. And I have this extra glove here, which will put me at really high crit. So that's why I said Guard Breaker's really, really good here. So I'm looking for an armor or a belt. Uh, let's take a look at the other comps, make sure I'm not, like, super contested. Uh, there's no Velkaz. Invoker, it's fine. Invoker, it's fine. Bastion, Deadeye. Deadeye, Bastion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, should be fine. There's still a belt. There's still an armor. There's still a belt. There's still an armor. There's no longer a belt. There's at least an armor. Okay. And we got a Lux out of that. I think we just give up the Mal's. Because realistically, it's Jarvan, and then we actually are going to get rid of Azir at some point. Why not slam the glove now? Because there's a world where I get stuck with, like... Sword. Imagine I get stuck with like sword, glove, armor, cloak out of my anvil, and I'm just stuck with a glove that I can't use. That'd be really bad. Yeah, I need the Jarvan really bad here. Oh god, please kill stuff today. Ow. Change positions of Vel and Sona? What? No, it's fine. I mean, sure, but eh. This is going to come down to how lucky we get on our roll downs. Okay, I'm just going to do it now. I need the gold anyway. No Jarvan Sork? No, no. How about my four multicaster Sona? Hell, like, if we get a Sona 3, Velkaz 3, we win the game. That's our win condition, for sure. Bastion comps are hard with all one stars. Diego's doing work. Honestly? The fact we did we kill the player? Oh nice, that was a good win. Stop rolling. I mean I could remake, but I don't think it's worth. Three star team is not that good. It's not like I'm playing Yordle. Sona's so much better. Oh. 
That's kind of bad, but... All right, what'd we get? That is a lot of gold. Holy moly. Okay, well, there's my tier. And yes, I know that means I'm stuck with a hurricane. It is what it is. Should have bought the three Cassiopeias there. We'll roll every turn until we get our two uh, rolls, and then we'll stop. That was some damage. Whew! Where'd your team go, bro? All right. This is looking good. Does Hurricane still get extra mana? No, it's a, it's a wasted item other than 10% attack speed, but at least on a three-star unit, there's a little AD damage. It's not good, but... Velkaz's AP ends up at 326 by the end of the fight with uh, perfected repetition. So... Okay, there's my two rerolls for the turn. Damn, wasted. Again, until I lose, there's no point in rolling down like crazy. Put crown on Teemo? No. Talia gets the crown. Until I lose, there's no point in rushing. Uh, happy four years, Mort. This question is not specific to TFT. Do you miss the good old days when having when game devs don't have the ability to deploy patches to games cassette, or do you feel that having the ability... No, I like the ability to keep improving a game. Like, I think that's a good thing, as long as it's used well. As long as you're not, like, abusing it to take advantage of players, being able to constantly make a game better and better and better is awesome. So I like patches, but... Now, the one, again, that's what I say when I say, like, as long as you're not taking advantage of it, because the other thing that people can do, though, is uh, make it so that, you know, you're, you're shipping an incomplete game knowing that you can just update it. Like, the early access stuff is really kind of gross. I'm not going for that. That's a good song. I have added it to the playlist. Hey Mort, love TFT and great content. My question is, in 9.5, when Bilgewater Tribe comes, how high of a bruiser cost will Tom Kench be? Also love from Iceland. Ah, uh, you know I can't spoil yet. Okay, that self-repair actually kind of messed me up pretty hard. Wow. Couldn't get through those Taric shields. Uh, Sork Emblem? I think I take Sork Emblem. Because if I take Sork Emblem on a Mal's, as soon as I hit 3-star Velkaz, I level up and I have 8 Sork. In fact, I could even level up now. I think it is correct to level up here. We're kind of saying we give up Sona 3, which maybe is correct anyway, but 8 Sork? <laughs> okay, this, this comp looks insane, though. And Cassante might just kick it out? Oh, that's just great. Could we not? And there goes Swain. Awesome. And we love Cassante. Kent wants to buff this champion! Kent wants to buff this champion! Uh, 
I'm gonna let this song play because I like this song. Oh, that's an Ari. Uh, that's an Ari. Shoot. Okay. I really need the Velkaz 3. The Velkaz 3 is kind of our win condition. I'm either going to hit it or I'm not. At least we top three, so, like, it's still a good spot, but... Whew. Okay, good win, good win, good win. Velkos three, please. Uh, hello, Mort. My question is, Guardbreaker a must-build item now with all the shields in the meta? It's not a must-build, but it's a good item if you have crit. I wouldn't call it a must-build, though. Oh, sick. Talia 3 is a pipe dream, right? I'm never playing Mal's. Uh, Item-wise, I'd be looking for something for Jarvan or Sona to let Jarvan have the Radiant. Belkaz. Oh. Giant Slayer or Hodge? Let's go Giant Slayer. A spatula. That doesn't do anything. It's a lot of Senna's. Whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I can lock shot for that. Hey, at least Cassante hit the wrong thing this time. Whew. All right, I think it's a first. I think it's a first. With the Velkos 3, I think we're good to go. Okay. What are we up against? We are up against a very beefy comp here with a Zephyr. Okay. Okay, just got a position. Didn't get Zephyr. Oh, that rise though. Thankfully, eight Sork with this. I think we just melt everything anyway. And. It's a first. Whoo! I'm pretty sure that means. Da -da 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 -da, drum roll, I'm master. Woo! All right. So, with relatively little effort, playing pretty close to none of the meta comps, pretty close to none of the meta comps. We went first place and got this account to master in 40 games with 16 firsts, 75% top four rate, mostly goofing off, mostly non-meta. I don't know. Seems pretty good. Seems like you can play a lot of things. Augments need work? Apparently. Apparently. So, that's cool.